Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a jet engine, uh, but not just any jet engine, more of a special jet engine. So uh, let's, let's, let's jump to the workbench. All right, so for those of you who have watched my uh, my tutorial in the past on building a jet engine, it is super basic. It is super basic. Uh, it just shows you kind of how to put the parts together and things like that. Uh, we're gonna kind of change some of these parts around and make this an engine that's a little bit more powerful. Uh, we've got the Space DLC coming out soon, and I know a lot of you are gonna be using jets to uh, get yourself to the moon or get yourself to outer space, uh, as well as the new liquid thrusters. So I figured we'd go ahead and uh, put one together and kind of show you how to get some real power out of this. All right, here we go. Real quick, special shout out to Mad Mike. Thanks for uh, showing me the way of jet engines. Uh, I've, I've known a little bit about jet engines, but uh, with your with your skills and your expertise, I feel like I am now moving on from uh, from diesel. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's start throwing this down here and see what we get. All right, so first things first, we're just gonna go to our jet engine parts. That's what we're gonna want. We're gonna need our small jet intake. Now this is gonna be very similar to the way we build a regular jet engine, but we're gonna kind of do some changes here. Uh, so let's see, first thing we're gonna need is a compressor. All right, make sure the arrows are going the right way. Then we're gonna wanna get a combustion chamber. We'll roll that over just for the sake of having fuel up here. And then from here, we are going to want the cross piece ducts. That's not it. Cross piece ducts. How about I click that again? There we go. We're going to do one, two, let's do three of these guys. And we can bring our uh, platform out a little bit more here. There we go. Uh, then we're going to go to our turbines. Where are they? We're going to go to medium turbines. We're going to put one on each side and one on the end down here. Now you could take this a little further. You could keep extending this out, putting more turbines on here and just really increasing the RPS that spits out of this thing. But what we've got now is actually quite perfect and will definitely do the job. It will definitely lift some heavy, heavy vehicles. I know because I've already tested it uh, and it works great. And I've got more, more than enough power with this setup here. Uh, so let's go ahead and pipe our stuff in here. We'll just grab orange here so you guys can see it a little bit easier. We'll pipe across here. We'll do there, there, there. Go across to there, delete that, that, and that to get ourselves a T piece. Actually, no, we need, what do I need? I need the other little piece here. The, where is it? It's a weird one. This one, T piece corner. There we go. Now we need the cross sections. We'll put those in there like that. And now our RPS is now connected. And this is technically a functioning jet engine, uh, but we're gonna go a little further here with this. Uh, first, let's get some fuel. Uh, so for that, we'll just go red so you guys can understand what's going on. We'll do fuel out the side here. There we go. We'll get ourselves a tank. Get a big boy tank here. Is that connected? No, that's not connected. All right. I cannot seem to get this gas tank to connect right away. So what we'll do is we'll just put a block, uh, what blocks below? Can I, can I even put the blocks down? Thank you. And we'll try it this way. Sometimes if you're struggling, just put a couple of extra blocks down. You can always get, uh, you can always hook it up to that. Come on. Really? Okay. I need more. All right. Did that hook up? Yes, it did. Okay. And we can delete this on the side. We don't need it. Perfect. Let's make sure we change this to jet. There we go, jet fuel. Uh, and from here, let's take our RPS. We're gonna bend it back and come on, come on, come on. And then from here, we'll do what we did on our turbine diesel. We'll go back to jet, we'll grab our parts. We want another, if I can find it, another turbine. We'll slap that down like so. Get rid of this. And we're gonna put a large jet intake on here. All right, so then, of course we wanna bend down, get this all connected and connect up. Now you say, why don't I just connect the giant fan to the jet engine itself? Well, if we do that, then we're only rest we're restricting our fan to the RPS of the actual jet engine. So with this way, we can actually put in some gearboxes here and we'll put those facing the engine. Now we can actually run this gear ratio up and whatever we have here, we can actually triple quadruple the power that goes into this actual fan. So we will be able to get way more thrust out of this thing than you would if you were just say using the jet engines. Now from here, you could do a thruster, uh, a little jet exhaust. Uh, I don't think it's needed. Uh, I think the fan will do plenty. Uh, I'm, I'm doing upwards in the five to 700 kilometers an hour with this setup, depending on the weight of your vehicle. So, yeah, it's it's quite powerful. Uh, so with this one, we can go ahead and probably crank up to three to one, and we can probably do three to one on this one as well. Uh, test this out and see what's up. So let me grab a, uh, a microcontroller to run all of this, and we'll put a throttle on it and a switch, and we'll get it going. 
All right, so I've just got my microcontroller here. This is uh, this is Zizo's microcontroller. Uh, I think it's on his workshop. If you guys want to check that out, uh, feel free. He's got a lot of good stuff on here. Uh, so we're going to need a toggle, and we're also going to need a throttle. All right, there we go. All right, so now let's hook this up. So we're going to want our throttle to go into our target RPS. And with this, because it's a jet engine, we could bring this up to, say, like 150 uh, and get a lot better numbers out of this. Uh, let's see, going back to our controller here, we've got our on button. There we go, we're toggling on and off. The starter goes to the compressor. The throttle goes to the combustion chamber. And then we got air pressure and RPS off of the compressor here. Uh, so that should be good to go. We should be powered up. Uh, let's spawn this in and see what it does. All right, we're just gonna crank up here and sounds like so far so good poof come on poof poof do it do it you want to start any day now we give it a little gas all right let's try this again uh, i just noticed my throttle i i labeled it 150 not giving it 150 in value uh what was the other thing hmm let's do this let's put a clutch here because this is how i would have it if i was setting it up in a vehicle uh the clutch would have a clutch we'll get another toggle and we're gonna switch. We can turn this on and off and one and zero. There we go, perfect. Uh, that might help start this up. Uh, if we also can't get it started up, the other thing that we could do is put a small electric motor on here and help spin some of these, uh, some of these up. But let's try this again. Let's see if this works. All right, cranking it up. Come on, start up for me. There we go. All right, and we are activated. We are fully activated. Let's, uh, let's hit our clutch here and see what happens. Uh, so yeah, I just noticed that this is backwards. Uh, I always do this. I always put these backwards. Uh, arrows are the direction of thrust. Uh, so that's that's something you guys want to make sure that you do. And if you're having troubles, go back and check your arrows. Go back and check your arrows. All right, let's try this for the third time. We did crank up, so that's good. And then from there, you'll be able to hook up to other things like your props, fans, other 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 RPS driven devices. Now keep in mind that jet engines, uh, they do take jet fuel, uh, and jet fuel costs $6 a liter in game compared to the $4 for diesel. So it is a little bit more pricey, but okay, we are activated here. Let's uh, let's see what this does. And okay, we're gone. We are gone. Perfect. And it's still going. Still going. Oh, oh, it's going to space. Perfect. We've created a spaceship. So it just shows you the power of those fans. Even though the engine is damaged, that fan is still rotating and it's still producing thrust. Uh, so these things are super, super powerful. Uh, is this thing ever gonna return to Earth here and then we can uh, we can work back on it here? Okay, all right, so we got that working. Uh, should we take this a step further and slap a seat on this and some wings and see what we can do? I think that's the final step here. All right, so I've, uh, I've thrown a seat, gyro, some uh, control surfaces on here, and I've moved some things around. Put a little smaller tank on it. Uh, should be good to go here. Let me turn off vehicle damage just so we can actually get out of the hangar here. But I think this should be everything that we need. Uh, you know what? One more thing I could add to this to uh, make this more interesting is finding out how fast this goes. We're going to slap a speed sensor on here. Right there works. Uh, we'll just slap our microcontroller down here for speed. Uh, that should make things easy to read real quick. And we'll just connect that up. All right, now let's see what this thing does. All right, so we need to check uh, roll is good. Uh, we've got pitch and we've got y'all. Okay, let's crank up. I'm expecting this thing to be stupid fast and uh, it's gonna be awesome. All right, we're all cranked up. Sounds like it is rocking, ready to go. Uh, three, two, one, do it. And we're out of here. We are gone. Uh, we're doing 500, 600, 630, 637 uh, kph, almost 400 miles an hour uh, with this thing. Uh, gyro is hating life right now. It is struggling so hard to keep this thing level. Uh, we could tweak that a little bit. Let's, uh, oh, yeah, we're out of fuel. Uh, we've already burned that much fuel. I, I expect us to be uh, using probably something like 20, 25 liters a second uh, at this rate. Uh, so I, I wouldn't expect you to run 100% all the time. Uh, that's not exactly what you need, but it gives you all the power that you can. Uh, but if you, tweak, if you tweak it right, you can get this engine down to a liter to two liters a second and really still have a ton of power. Uh, 
So, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you 100%. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you throw a like, comment down below. Make sure you throw a comment. Let me know what's going on. Uh, and if you plan on using this for the space DLC or how you plan on space DLCing. Uh, so, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, and we will see you in the next one.